decided to take a little road trip today and go to Coca Cohen. It's a uh, old aviation park, and there's a museum here also. Um, just outside of Tokyo, about 30 minutes on the train. Uh, nice little day trip. I like to come out here and, and walk um, and check out the sights and see what's happening and all that. So, anyway, uh, we're off. Here we go. Okay, so we have the we have the Insta mic. I've also got hooked up the um, Sony TX650, and uh, we'll see we'll see what they sound like uh, real world out walking around. So I'm going to leave these running, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, here we go. All right, uh, Coco Cohen. Here we are. Okay, uh, this park is, yeah, yeah, let's find a better, we'll find a better sign that uh, kind of talks about Coca Cohen. Um, all right, it's also the, uh, the Saitama area's city office, the main city office is here. And, um, here we go. Oh, all right. Uh, it's kind of neat. Tokyo Olympics. Here's a big sign. Although I don't think I don't think we're gonna make the Tokyo Olympics this year. Um, the way it sounded, it's uh, we're not gonna make it. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, Anyway, uh, life's been good. Um, I'm out shooting today with the GoPro. My, uh, my other camera's not working. It's, I dropped it and there's, I've jiggled something loose. And I'm not sure what that is, but I've jiggled it loose. So I am uh, out with the GoPro today, separate audio. We'll see how it sounds. I've had uh, the the Insta mic was a little more. Uh, here we go. Here's a map of what the park looks like, and we are down. Where are we? Ah, there we are. Um, you see, upper left-hand corner says "You are here." It's in English. You know, it's a pretty big map. If you walk the whole course, I believe. It is about two kilometers, so about a mile and a half around. But there's all kinds of neat things. There's a Japanese garden here. There's a museum, um, baseball fields, children's fields, sitting areas, all kinds of stuff that uh, you can sit and go do. Um, uh, anyway, uh, if you notice, I'm not wearing my mask out walking around. Um, evidently... Uh, people don't complain too much if you're out doing exercise. So I'm watching people walk around right now. Some of them have masks, uh, some of them don't. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at. They've got a really cool soccer fields over here on the right hand side. Anyway, uh, it's about 60 degrees today, uh, Celsius, for those of us who don't live in the United States, uh, 16 degrees Celsius, so 61 Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, anyway, here's the, there's the soccer field. Well, that's pretty good size. Nobody playing today. Uh, every once in a while, when I'm over here, I'll see, I'll see uh, teams out here playing. And I 
I think it's a, uh, I think it's a practice area for some high school teams and even college teams to come over here and practice. The facilities here at the park, the facilities here at the park are really nice. So, how are we doing on sound? Um, so we got GoPro sound, Instamic sound, and X650 uh, Sony voice recorder sound. So, uh, let me know what you think. I'll, uh, as we go throughout, I'll change between sounds and let you know which one is playing and which one is not to give you an idea what the sound is like coming out of whatever device. So we can start. Let's start with uh, the GoPro. GoPro 7, Hero 7, um, GoPro Sound. Um, I'm using the built-in um, microphones. So actually, I, I don't think they really sound that bad. Typically, I remember what the 5 sounds like and the 6, and this seems to be a little bit better quality sound. Okay. Let's see. Battery's doing good. Got about uh, 45 minutes to an hour for battery. Oh, so um, what I was going to tell you, uh, let's do Instamic. Here we go. Instamic. What I was going to tell you is when I got the Instamic, I got the Instamic Pro. It comes with uh, uh, four mono channels and two stereo channels, I believe. I'm recording in dual mono, and my setting is, I think, about 15 or 20 dBs um, that I've got it set to. When I, when I originally opened it up and I tested it out, it was on auto, and boy, it was, it was soft sounding. So I played around with it and did a whole bunch of sample um, settings and I finally came out with um, I've got the Instamic under my shirt and it should be recording I'm pretty sure it is uh, there's another picture of the of the park let's see here okay there we are okay so we've moved a little bit we were we were Let's see, where were we? We were up here, and now we are down here. So, uh, we've, we've walked a little bit. Okay, uh, give you a little, little idea what it looks like walking into the park here. Kind of check it out. Like I said, it's about a 30 minute ride on the Cebu Sinjuku um, train. I think it's like 350 yen or something to get out of here. Um, what, what wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. So, um, anyway, so I was telling you the settings on this uh, Instamic, it, uh, Hmm, they were just difficult to figure out. I thought auto would probably be the way to go, but I could never quite get it to sound very loud. And I wanted a little bit of sound. Now you can make adjustments in post when you're doing that, but I don't know, why, why do you wanna, why do you wanna dick around with that? Anyway. So, I'm hoping. I may have to. I don't know. 
Uh, let's flip over to the uh, TX Sony TX650 and audio. It's on. It's on minimum mic sensitivity. It's uh, clipped on my. It's clipped on my jacket here. So um, you can see about the distance we have between my mouth and the jacket and stuff like that. So um, okay. Anyway, um, if you look over here to the, uh, if you look over here to the left, that is, uh, that's an air museum, which I've never been inside. Every time I've ever been over here, it's been closed. And I think it's staying closed because of the uh, Corona thing going on. So I haven't had a chance to get in there and look around at it. But uh, it's a pretty cool little place. So anyway, um, tell you how I'm doing here in Japan. So I've been in Japan here a little bit. Um, by the way, I just uh, I just got a notice that my visa has been approved, and I need to go pick that up. So I'm not sure how many years it's good for. Heck, it could be another year. I don't know. But um, I was on a one-year visa, and I just uh, tried to renew. I told them I'd like a five-year, if at all possible. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, here, this is kind of cool. So, oh, can you even see me? There's a, uh, there's an old airplane up there pretty nice wow all right uh i'm not sure what the uh, details on that are but uh it's an airplane i hear i hear some drums or something going on but i'm not sure where that noise is coming from Yeah, let's see here. Little gazebo area, place for people to sit around and relax, kind of covered. This is a beautiful place during the summer. All the trees and all the leaves are out. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go the other way here. Anyway, um, all the leaves are still out. Oh, okay. Uh, like I said, weather's nice today. Anyway, so I think my visa is going to be renewed. Um, work, um, teaching English, and uh, although I'm, I won't say where I'm teaching, but I am teaching English, and it's one of the bigger. English conversation schools here in Japan and uh, I feel pretty I'm pretty happy to get that to get that job so um, that's been going pretty good and let's see what else uh, exercise yeah still doing that still doing the exercise although I uh, I am not exercising as much as I was I tore a muscle in my back, and boy, it hurt like all get out. So I, I got this medicine that you kind of put on your back, and boy, it made all the difference in the world. I can tell you that it was bearable, and I haven't had to use any medicine now for a few days, so it's getting, it's getting much better. Um, I'm feeling a lot better. Although the, the doctors here are pretty cheap. I think it's like, I don't know, $10, $15 to go see the doctor or something. So, but, and there's, they're all over the place. So anyway, um, let's see, what else? Uh, so I'm out walking around.
Okay, I had a, uh, I had a build, I had a microphone, an external microphone that I'd put on my GoPro and huh, it quit working. <laughs> Go figure, there's not a freaking moving part anywhere in it and it just stopped working. So here's a, uh, here's a big statue. So let's let's look at let's look at the statue. Okay. Let's, here we go. Let's see. Well, it's um, it's three young men, and it looks like they're holding a flag or something. I think they're all military boys. Uh, could be could be pilots. So this is an aviation park. So I'm not sure, but uh, it's a cool statue, kind of neat. Uh, I don't have any idea what the, uh, let's see what the sign says here. Huh. And by the way, I can't read any of this. So if uh, anybody watching the video uh, can translate it, heck, please have at it. Tell me what it means. So uh, if you need to stop the video and write it down or translate it. Anyway, uh, off we go. Okay. So. All right. Okay. So anyway, um, back. So I'm I'm working um, working at an Akaiwa. It's an English conversation school. And I, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like to do something else, but, huh, well, two reasons I can't, well, two reasons I'm limited. I shouldn't say I can't do anything else. Two reasons I'm limited on what I can do is uh, my lack of Japanese skill, although I'm working on that, um, and of a job. So, um, lots of lots of people running around. Oh, uh, so here's a little park, and you can see lots of people sitting around. And uh, there's some exercise spots. You can do push-ups and pull-ups, and um, all that fun stuff. We'll, we'll get over here and uh, take a picture or shoot some video. See if I can get some shade here. And uh, okay. okay. There's, there's a kind of picture of kind of overlooking, overlooking the park, and as you can tell, there's people, people sitting out and uh, relaxing, having fun, doing some exercise, things like that. There's my future, old and trying to do exercise. Okay, but anyway, off we go for more more walk. Okay, no smoking in this park. Uh, for those of you who are curious, uh, there's a no smoking sign. Okay. All right. And okay. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I'm shooting in 4K. Um, 30 frames a second uh, is what I'm shooting in today on the GoPro. Um, super, uh, super, I don't think super, I think wide view. So uh, it's not, not too terrible. Let's see here. Okay, we'll go back down this direction and uh, See, let's see where this takes us. Looks like we're going down towards the park. I think there's some other, some more statues and 
things like that down here too. We'll take a walk down this direction and see what this looks like. Anyway, um, so everything's going pretty good. Um, I'm studying Japanese. I study for about uh, an hour a day and um, I'm learning, um, you know, it's funny. You would think living here would be a lot easier than what it is, but it's not. I am doing my book, 30 Days to Conversational Japanese. I can probably say that I could have a simple, easy-going conversation in Japanese if I needed to, or I guess if I wanted to. If I met somebody that was willing to sit down and, and talk for a few minutes. But uh, um, anyway, so I think I think that's pretty good. I'm I'm doing all right at uh, Konnichiwa. How you doing? Uh, genki desu ka? Oh, uh, genki desu. So I'm getting kind of good at that kind of stuff. Little, I'm getting good at small talk. But my my gosh, don't even ask me to say anything more than that, really. How's the weather and how are you and how is work and all that kind of stuff? I'm I'm pretty good at that. So um, okay. Let's walk the other direction here. Um, if we don't get blinded out by the sun. Okay. Alright, well hopefully that's not too bad. Um A lot of people out riding the bicycles and walking around. They got a nice little, I wouldn't call it a lake, but it's a, it's a cute little pond back in there. And they got ducks and, eh, let's walk down here and we'll take a, take a look and see what it looks like. So it's a, it's a really beautiful park. Like I said, it's 30 minutes out. If you come during the springtime, they've got a they got a big area that's full of um, full of cherry blossoms. You can see all the cherry blossoms and and um, that kind of stuff. Okay, all right. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Get on the bridge here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and you can see, you can see it. Uh, it's it's not a great big giant place. It kind of goes around, and it's probably 500 square yards or something, maybe something like that. Not a great big giant place, but it, it's really pretty and relaxing and and all that. Those are a bunch of ducks. There they are over there. All those mallards. Boy, good thing they don't, they don't allow guns and hunting here. They'd already be gone. So, anyway, not that I'm in the position to do much hunting of anything here in Japan. But, uh, okay, so, anyway, I'm going to walk back up this direction. Oh, here's something. I didn't see this. Okay. All right. What is what is this thing? Okay. Wow. Look at that. It's kind of pretty. I think I think these I think these guys are I think these guys are military. Wow, look at that, would you? It's a big monument. Wow, I, I, I have a feeling these are military pilots or, or somebody that served flying someplace. Uh, there's something written, if anybody can read that, let me know. Okay, but uh, 
Okay, there's another plaque. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm off again for another walk. Anyway, um, so I guess I guess this video, <laughs> although we're testing the uh, Instamic, and actually, let's see what the Instamic says here. Okay. Oh well, that we're still recording. So Instamic's still working. We're at 20 dB. We've been recording for 30 minutes. Uh, Instamic says you get about three hours. You get about a three-hour charge. Oh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty picture there. Wow. Yeah, what a beautiful day to be out here walking around. What a beautiful day it is. Okay, uh, anyway, back. Can you see me with this sun in our eyes? Uh, okay. See if we, if we do that, it might be a little bit better. Okay. Anyway, uh, train ride was fun. Uh, like I said, from Tokyo, it's about a 40 minute train ride out here. You can take a Cebu, Ikebukuro train line, or you can take uh, Cebu Shinjuku train line. Cebu Shinjuku, you don't have to change trains. It's a it's a stop right after the main station Tokorozawa, so you can kind of relax and take it easy if you're coming out this way. Okay, all right. So, anyway, um, other than that, life's pretty good. Uh, wife's working, busy as always, and I, I'm also working. I said, you know, I would love to, I would love to have some kind of uh, boat job, even a deckhand for that matter. But there's just. Uh, there's just not the opportunity to do that here in Japan with the license that I have. So that's okay. Uh, where I would, you know, where I'd really like to live, I would love, I'd love to live down in Izu, uh, down there by the ocean. And with my broken Japanese, work at a little dive shop down there and do something fun. Although I really don't want to teach scuba diving, but I wouldn't mind helping out working on the boat or doing something like that. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we're at, like I said, we're at Coca Cohen Park today. It's uh, about a mile and a half around the park. Well, around the trail system. I think it's a lot longer than that if you, if you walked everywhere. It's probably a couple of three miles, I would imagine. So, um, anyway, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely kinda, kinda jungly. Huh. Let's see here. Oh, there's some guys working on a power junction, looks like. Uh, anyway, um, lots of dog walkers out. Uh, so anyway, so uh, Christmas is coming up. Thanksgiving. Well, we had Thanksgiving, but I'll tell you what, I couldn't find a turkey to save my life. But um, I, I think what it is, is, <laughs> well, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Japan. So turkeys are not a customary product to buy. I did talk to a friend of mine. She said that uh, they did buy a turkey at Costco, but they had to cut it up into 
like five different pieces so they could fit it in the oven. Our oven's not very big either. So I can cook stuff, I can bake stuff, I can bake cookies. I can do all that stuff, but it's, uh, I don't have a lot of, of oven space, so to speak. All right, so here we are going around this other way. Okay. See if I can block that sun out and get you a little nice, nice look at, I guess that's probably Tokorozawa back there in the, uh, on the horizon, but I'm not a hundred percent sure, but probably. You know, Tokyo's really easy. Tokyo's really easy to get around. You can take a train, a bus, walk, a taxi, a bicycle, almost anywhere in Tokyo and get around, get to where you need to go. So, um, so I don't have a car. I don't have um, car payments. I don't have insurance to deal with. I don't have all those uh, car expenses, but I also don't have the convenience of just getting in the car and driving and going somewhere. So if I do want to go, like uh, for example, I went out to Chichibu um, I don't know a month or so ago And it was about ten dollars to get out there and back so uh, Which isn't too bad if you think about it. I don't go out there all the time now the good good thing here This is good news. I don't have to pay For transportation back and forth to work So the office they cover They cover that so part of my part of my salary is they gave me is they give me money to ride the train as a uh, benefit of working there so if they didn't it would cost me about eight dollars eight dollars a day to uh, ride the train to work so that's kind of nice I don't have to uh, I don't have to ride the train I don't have to spend my own money to do that so but anyway, that's, I guess, neither here nor there. Um, I've been working on a video for um, I've, been work, I've been working on a video talk, to talk about the, the different cars they have in Japan that you can't buy in the U.S. There are some cool cars in, the U, in, in Japan. But I, I think the biggest problem is probably horsepower and a and uh, well, it's probably horsepower. I'm guessing because um, the speed limit here on a good day, if you're on the highway, is about 50 or 80. So you're you know 50, 55 miles an hour, unless you're like my buddy. Um, speed racer who rides that motorcycle and he zooms in and out of traffic all the time so anyway uh, that's kind of yeah, something different all right what else uh, let's see anyway coca cola back uh, we're back at the park Coco Cohen is a, is a beautiful park. There's, there's a whole bunch of these kind of parks all throughout Tokyo. And actually I haven't been to like, and I haven't been to, I haven't been to Tokyo Tower either. I'd like to go do that and I haven't done that. I, I really just avoid getting out where there's tons and tons of people unless it's absolutely a requirement for me to do so, like going to work. So other than that, I don't get out much. 
and do much running around. Oh, okay. Well, I think, I think we're almost done and, and back at least to the museum. Oh, it looks like we're going to walk by the, the museum. Okay. So I think maybe one day what I'll do is I'll go take my camera and we'll just go walk around like uh, from one of the stations over to over to Tokyo Tower and you can get a look at kind of how that is, what that looks like down there. So, ah, oh, there's the drum player. So, all right. Ah, right, what's what's our Japanese word today? You know, one of my uh, one of my subscribers asked the other day if uh, so I gave I gave my my word of the day or my first word Japanese word was was ja, which means goodbye, see ya. It's a casual goodbye thing. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd just go the other end of that and we'll just say next word is. Konnichiwa. Any guesses what you think that might mean? Well, it's a greeting for if you see somebody for the first time in the day, or you meet somebody at the elevator, or whatever. But, uh, oh, anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, well, there's a lot of cars. I think I'm about out of battery on my GoPro. I've been going 39 minutes. So I may have to stop and finagle another battery in there. So Anyway, uh, oh, that's, a, that's a nice view there, but man, the sun's just right in our face. Anyway, um, I think we'll probably just wrap everything up, but um, what did you think? Uh, Coca Cola and Park, I'll put a little map. Uh, I'll put a little link in the, in the show notes down below, kind of if you're interested you can go and look and see at the park and i think if you look at google it'll even give you english translation but i uh, hope you enjoyed the uh the walk today and if you like the channel and you think this might be something that you can continue on with hit subscribe and give me a big thumbs up hit the thumbs up button and be happy to have you along anyway that's all we got for today uh Voice recorders, Instamic, Sony TX650, or GoPro Audio. Which one do you like the best? What sounds better? I'm guessing it's the Instamic or the TX650. Both highly recommended. Um, so, anyway, Christmas coming up. We'll have a Christmas video coming out here pretty soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, word of the day, konnichiwa. And I'll talk to you later. Ja.